Hey everyone and welcome back to our UT Source channel. Today we're gonna learn few things about this small IC. This is the LP5907, the ultra low noise 250 mA LDO, which is in the SOT235 package. Well, an LDO or a low dropout regulator is a DC linear voltage regulator that you can regulate the output voltage even when the supply voltage is very close to the output voltage. For example, I have a 3.7 volt lithium ion cell, but I want to power a BLE module that operate at a 3.3 volt with it. Now, how can I drop this extra 0.4 volt efficiently? Like not wasting any excess power on the heat, which is a common problem when working with voltage regulators like 7805 or AMS1117. Here's a better alternative. We can use LP5907 LDO in our application to drop 3.7V to 3.3V for the BLE module to work. But wait, where we can buy this LP5907 from? You can buy it from utsource.net along with other discrete electronic component and stuff. Link is in video description. Now. This right here is its working schematic. We generally require two extra components which are one UF capacitor that are connected on the input and output side of LDO. To turn on this LDO, we also need to supply EN pin power. So you can short it with VCC pin directly or add a 10 kilo ohm resistor in between VCC and enable pin. Now, to use this small SOT23 package IC, we need a breakout board which I do not have. So I just use one of my tricks which is to make a simple circuit with the previously mentioned schematic in my CAD software. Then I exported its bottom layer PDF file with a proper size and then I printed it on a glossy paper with laser jet printer. Why? Well because I am currently making a custom PCB with the common etching process. The next step is to cut down the printed circuit PCB and prepare the copper clad board according to the PCB size. Then we basically sandwich the glossy sheet PCB and the copper clad together to apply heat to it. So the ink on the glossy paper can transfer from the glossy paper to the copper clad board. For this I am using a hot plate and a metal square which is quite heavy. I just applied pressure from the top and the heat from the bottom side and this process did the job pretty well. Now we add PCB to the ferric chloride solution for the final etching. We shake it for few minutes and by doing this the copper which is exposed get dissolved by the ferric chloride and the ink part remains. We then take the PCB and sand them a little bit to remove the ink from the top side and you will get these totally functioning circuit board which is totally homemade. At last we drill holes in the PCB for connectors and our PCB is ready. Now let's start the assembly process which consists of me adding the LDO first and then the 1 UF capacitor on the both sides along with the 10 kilo ohm resistance and at last 2 connector pin. Now to test this board, I added a 3.7 volt lithium ion battery pack to our LDO setup. I will be using this setup to measure voltage as my multimeter right now is dead and I don't think it will work now. Anyways, we measure the voltage across the input side of LDO first, which is 3.6 volt. Now we measure the voltage across the output side, which is 3.2 volt. LDO has dropped 0.4 volts from a 3.6 volt source which is enough to power this small BLE module. I added it on the output side, VCC to VCC and ground to ground. And guess what? It worked. And you know what the best part about this? Nothing shorted or caught fire in the end. So we can safely say that this LDO is pretty useful thing to use in our embedded system. And that is how you can use the LP5907 IC to power low voltage stuff. Hit that subscribe button if this video was helpful. Check out our UT Source website for buying discrete electronic stuff. And I'll be back with another video soon. Peace out.